thread is here. Kind of. I mean, I've added my first thread device to my smart home, but this is probably not the thread you're looking for, especially if the thread you're looking for is the one that was sold to us in all that matter content. So in this video, I'm going to tell you about why you should be careful with all the thread devices on the market today, and why you're probably going to see a lot of content about how thread doesn't work as it was sold, and how it's all going to get better in the future. Welcome back to Slacker Labs, my name is Jeff. I wanted to do a quick video on Thread, because I think the whole Thread thing is super confusing, especially with all the hype around Thread and Matter and how they were going to help make our smart home products work seamlessly together. And to be clear, I'm no Thread expert. I'm just a YouTuber with bad penmanship. And at some point in the not too distant future, hopefully, this video is going to be obsolete. But as of this recording, it reflects the world as I know it. And until that future arrives, let's start with the basics. Thread is basically a network protocol meant to help us connect our smart home tech locally, like Zigbee or Z-Wave or Wi-Fi. And like those protocols, a Thread device needs a Thread router to be able to join a Thread network. Do you see the Thread there? These Thread border routers are already on the market and you may already have one in your smart home. Apple has some, Google, and even some of the Arrows have a thread radio inside them just wanting to be let out, which may make you think that it's time to start adding thread devices to your smart home. But this is where you need to be cautious. Currently, every thread border router out there is running a different implementation of thread. And of course, they're not compatible. Somewhere out there right now, Zigbee is wanting their claim to fame back. But this reality is also causing a lot of confusion. Because, of course, Thread was sold to us as a unifying protocol. And we're hearing from companies that Thread is here. But the current guidance from people who are more well-versed in how Thread works than me say that you should only run one Thread network in your home. Which means if you have an Apple HomePod Mini and an Aero Pro 6 like me, you don't want to cross the Thread streams by turning on Thread in that Aero. Total protonic reversal. I mean, I don't think it's that bad, but the general consensus is it won't be good. All right, that's bad. Okay, all right, important safety tip. Thanks, Egon. Thankfully, back in July of 2022, the Thread 1.3 spec was released. This version aligns Thread with Matter's dream of a connected home. And once all the Thread border routers have been upgraded to firmware 1.3, they should all be able to work seamlessly together and talk to each other to help manage your smart home tech. And likewise, your Home Assistant Sky Connect should be able to join any existing Thread network in your smart home, which means any devices that join any of the Thread networks or your Sky Connect should be visible to any other Thread border router. Matter's dream of multi-admin realized. But in my preparation for this video, I couldn't find any evidence that any of the existing Thread border routers out there are running Thread 1.3. It seems like all of them are still running 1.2. There really isn't a timeline for when version 1.3 drops. All of these devices have their own roadmap and update cycle. The good news is any thread border router out there should be able to update to version 1.3 by design. But until thread matters, by which I mean all of the border routers running version 1.3, which brings it in line with matter, we're going to have to be careful that any thread device we buy will work with the thread router we have. Don't assume that any thread device you find on the market today will work with every thread border router. I mean, those devices will work with every thread border router once version 1.3 is everywhere. But as of today, don't assume that they will work. And from what I've seen, most of the thread devices available today have chosen to align with Apple's implementation of thread. I don't know why this is, but perhaps it's related to how easy it is to provision a device in Apple HomeKit. But again, Always check the device information before you hit that buy button. And if it doesn't work today, hold on to it because in the future it should work with any thread border router. Anyway, don't let all of this discourage you about the future. Let's at least wait until matter fails to live up to the hype before we burn it down. And I guess with that, it's time to go automate the boring stuff. As long as you have a compatible thread border router, that is. Music 